Bye. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Bournemouth RC. So tonight we're going to be reviewing the Hotter H-O-T-A D6 Plus Smart Charger. Um, now this is actually the second one I have of these. I liked it so much I did have enough one. So the reason why I liked it is we've got very, very good power, even plugging it into the mains. On AC it's 300 watt, 150 watt per channel, or it will do 300 watt to that one channel if you're only charging one battery. DC, 650 watt, and it will output two channels at 15 amps. So loads and loads of power in this charger, but also it balances up the best charger I've, ever, I've ever had. I have used other chargers and I've had three batteries that before I got my other one of this charger, I thought we well, had it. I couldn't get the batteries to balance at all. This balanced them first try. So mega, mega impressed. And now this is my go-to charger. Um, I absolutely love it. But first of all, what we'll do is we'll get in and we'll unbox it. Okay, so let's have a look inside the box then. So first of all, you get a sticker. Always nice to have a sticker. You have a very, very short instruction manual. Um, also gives you all the outputs and stuff like that. So that's in there if you want it, but it is very, very short. Your plug, obviously this one came with a UK plug because that's where I am. You can get this with the plug that you want, but it is a standard three pin kettle plug. So let's plug that in over there. Here is the actual charger. It is packaged nice and well, so it's not going to get any damage. And this is the charger. Now, really, really simple to use. Plugs in at the back there. You've got your AC or your DC. Um, you can also output to phone charger if you would like to as well. And then there's a USB there as well. On the side is your channel, channel one. You've got XT60 and you need the XT XT60 female to plug into that. Now, I have already made up leads for my other charger, so they simply plug in and then put your own connections on the other end and your balance plug goes into them. So I'll chuck them in there quickly. So that's in ready to go. Chuck the cable in the back. And that's it, we are on. Now what I'm gonna do is get down nice and close to show you the actual screen. Okay, so now we're in nice and close. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use it, and it is incredibly, incredibly simple. So, obviously, grab your connectors. I'm chucking in one of my 6S batteries here. I'm putting it into channel 2 to start with. Doesn't matter which channel. You can see as soon as you connect it up, your voltages appear there. You then plug your balance lead in. Okay. So now that is ready to go. So what we do is you have a channel button there. That takes it to channel one. I'm on channel two, so I press it again. And you can actually see that I've got all my cell voltages down the bottom and this battery is actually not brilliantly uh, balanced at the moment because uh, it has just been out and be used. So to then charge, press OK. And it would already pick up what battery you have. So there you can see it's picked up 6S battery. Um, it's saying it's a LiPo battery, it's going to charge to 4.2 volts, and then your current setting. So you just press the up arrow, go to that, and I'm going to charge this battery at 6 amps. Once you're ready, you've got all your details there, you press start, and it'll go orange. Now, when this battery has fully charged, it will first of all go green with one beep. Now that means that it is fast charge. It's got its power in there, but it is not finished the balancing yet. When it's finished and balancing, it will go back to being blue and it will do two beeps. So that's how you know when the battery is done. One, ba one beep and green means fast charge, two beeps and blue means fully charged. So what I'm also gonna do, just chuck another battery in the back here. This one is a 4S. So there we go, it's picked up the voltage already. If I go into the battery this time, it knows it's 4S. 
it will keep your current setting. Once you put in your 6 amps or your 5 amps, it will then keep that ready for the next version of LiPo charge it does. But what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to just put it on charge just yet. I'm going to show you some of the stuff it can do. So, you can charge, discharge, storage, balance. You can do all of those things. So, put it on to charge. Type of battery. Obviously, this is a LiPo, but you do have high voltage. All the different types of battery there that you could want to do, including NICAD, uh, NIM batteries. They are all there. So, you can then pick which one you want to do. Obviously, this is a LiPo. Your cell voltage. If you do have higher voltage cells. But 4.2 is happy with what I do. Obviously, this is for us. It's already picked that up. It will do that for you. And then go down to start task. And it is as simple as that. It will recognise everything. So, as soon as you put it in, it will go there. Now, once it's on charge, you can then hit the channel button. And it will tell you how many amps it's chucking in there. Uh, the amount of watts it's currently using now. I'm going to just chuck that one on charge. So it's just building up at the moment. This battery is already near enough charged. So if I go to the other one. It's chucking in 6 amps. 131 watts it's using. This is capable of doing 300 in one go. So we know that this can take two 6S batteries easily. And two 8S as well. Not a trouble. Now if you were to then want to put more bigger batteries on it. Chuck in a DC power supply. And you're all away. So that's it charging. Press OK and you can stop it. Or you can adjust your current. I'm just going to go back. You can then also measure the resistance of your cells. The temperature of everything. And the, volt, the input voltage, the temperature of the actual charger itself. Not that you'd ever really need to use these. But then you've got resistance. That's the one I always use, which is the actual balance. And that's starting already to charge up nicely and balance up. So what we'll do now is we'll just wait for one of these batteries to charge, come back and show you. Okay, so one of the things that you'll notice, and if I lift it up you'll be able to see that this battery is actually already pretty much charged. What it is doing now is balancing that cell out there. Now, one of the reasons why I like this charger so much is you can see the current that it's actually balancing out there was around about 1.6 amps so it'll go it will fluctuate in between but it will go up to 1.6 amps on balancing and that's a lot higher than most chargers do which means that it balances a lot quicker and also recovers cells a lot better than any other charger i've used and that's why i like it so much so i'll pop back when it's charged and show you what it does okay so as you can see now that's done one beep and that's saying that that channel one there fast charge done which means it is got there all the all the cells are at the 4.2 volts where it should be it's not quite balanced where it is quite happy with it yet so what will happen now is it will now finish balancing off that cell there to make sure that it's dead in line with the others okay so now it's done two beeps what it's saying is that the charge is finished it has now balanced up those cells to where it's happy that they are balanced it will continue going now if you leave it. It will continue going and get them absolutely dead on. So if you leave that enough for five minutes or so, it will get them absolutely dead on the same together. And once it stops going down and it goes to that zero amps, it will then go into standby mode. But what it, when it's saying when charge is done, you're ready to go. So press OK. It goes back into standby. You can then disconnect that battery and you're ready to go. So I'm really, really impressed with how well this charges and balances all of the batteries channel 2 which is the 6 s1 is still going there it's charging it up it's chucking 140 watts into that one currently at six amps so it's going and it will charge it up nice and nice and quickly so what we'll do now then is i'll just come back and give you a roundup okay so that just gives you a little sum up of how to use a charger um as i said i absolutely love this charger now one of the things i must say is i have got two of them I did love it that much that I got a second one. However, there is enough of a reason to it. This is my original one, and currently it is running off an AC to DC converter. Now, this AC to DC converter was about £16 off of eBay, so not much to run at all. It is 400 watts, or around about 400 watts, 
so it will chuck in a little bit more power to the charger if you've got the bigger batteries. However, I don't need more power if I'm honest, the 300 was plenty enough. I will confess, I did break this one. Now it was completely my fault. On the AC power, I plugged in a battery, um, charged it up, pulled the battery out when it was done, and left this on for about two weeks. Now the whole time it was on, it was converting that AC into the DC, and I burnt out the conversion side of the AC to the DC. So completely my fault. Um, I absolutely love the charger. Went and got one of these £16, made it effectively better. It can handle more watts now. But if you're sensible and not like me and unplug it when you're done, you're not going to need it. Absolute brilliant charger. Liked it that much. I got enough for one. So I now have the two, and that's plenty for me. All of my other chargers will be disappearing. Okay, so as always, there is a link to these in the description below. Um, they come from Banggood. The, fir the first one came in about seven or eight days. The second one actually only came in four or five days. Really, really impressed with that one, um, how quickly it came. So these are coming nice and quickly now. Um, the link's in the description, um, so check it out if you want to get one of these for yourself. So thank you very much for watching, and good night. Bye.